what I got going on. You know, they hear a lot of, they may hear various verses here and there, or whatever, but they don't know I do a lot behind the scenes. Man, I be working, bro, like right. every day. Like I'm always working, and I do a lot of writing. I get more into my writing. I'm, I'm starting to love that. Not necessarily more than being out front, but you don't have to deal with the BS that you got to deal with. You know what I mean? Right. As far as being an artist, you know what I mean? So I did a lot of writing. I got a couple of songs out with no album. Hey. You know hey. I mean? You may have heard of them. Snoop last three singles is all bad luck, if you don't know. All I bad wrote, luck. I wrote Gangsta Love, I, wrote, I Wanna Rock, and I wrote the new one, Kid Cudi, That Tree. My God. As well as I wrote five songs on the album. That's including 1800, the R. Kelly record, and wow. that's the homies. Damn. And a lot of people don't know that, because I, I, like now, I, I think, you know, for the for the most part, I was trying to, I was being on some low shit, not out of like, on oh, some ghostwriters, just like, oh, like, like not really trying to, you know what I mean, put it out there like that, but it's part of business. Exactly. If the people don't know, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, they they don't know, they always ask what's going on, and I'm always telling them I'm writing, I just sound like the average nigga saying right, he writing. Right, 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 right. I got a lot going on, and I'm, I'm proud, I'm happy, I'm excited that I got all these records going, and they running, and radio love them, and people loving Snoop, and they loving his new sound, and all that stuff like that, church records, man. I feel like I represent the the majority in the hood. Like the majority in the hood did not really game bang. Right. I mean, talking about of the, of the, the masses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was, I, it was the the niggas who game bang. There was a dude who was there, was cool around. Everybody loved him, but he just chose not to do that. Exactly. And I, that's me. I never right. went to game bang. That wasn't my life. I didn't have a heart for game bang. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I was a rapper. I rap. I rhyme. And you get beat up, but that's I'm not. <laughs> I'm be out there in the streets like right, 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 and right, I'm not. Right. I'm not. I'm not on that. So I always learn how to rap. And I, what I do is take my hood shit and me being in the hood and seeing what I'm seeing doing what I'm doing whether it's hustling or whatever and then what I learned as far as my rhyme shit my rap shit and just mash them and try to be perfect at that that lane yeah my first rap name was T Capone T Capone my name was Terrence uh-huh. so my first name I don't know where it came from I literally I don't even know like it was just T Capone I didn't know I started rapping in 95 and that's the name I went with Damn. and I don't even know if somebody gave it to I don't even remember this I remember is, though last upon you when one I made a bad luck though I, I literally remember I, I just thought it was the dopest shit yeah. because I just thought it, it was it, it was me I wasn't a pretty nigga right. I was a beast nigga like to right. me yeah, 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 yeah. and battle shit it was always it was ugly I felt like it's supposed to be ugly yeah. you know so I felt that represented me like it, it started off as corny like it was it meant like it was bad luck for you to battle me right right, right. right. it was kind of corny but it was fresh though like right. at the time you know what I mean when Cube says not to be around the bush was real shit when Cube says what he says whatever you feel get it off your chest like yeah. about it me personally I can't come to grips with this and none of them right you know what I mean like I because I, my everything in rap is them like, dude, I I was living and dying to death certificate. Like, you understand me? Right, like, right. I woke up and went to sleep to the album. You feel me? Like, yeah. I really was really living this shit. Like, not living. I'm talking about, like, really. Like, summer vacation is, like, my favorite shit right. ever. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I can't, come to, I can't come to grips with saying, yo, Cube, anything negative. Unless he was like, yo, bad, bad luck, luck. Right. some, 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 some. Right, right, right. But right. then I go rap mode, and I feel like no nigga want that. Right. <laughs> You know what exactly I mean? But then, no. but then, but I still respectfully, even at then, I'm, I'm close enough to Cube to be like, yo, Tunes and Dub C is like my big brothers. Right, right. So I'm close enough to Cube to be like, man, why your man diss me, whatever, whatever. And I yeah. make a phone call. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to Twitter it. I'm not going, I'm not going to do a negative record, none of that, because I have that much respect for all my OGs. Right. And they all love me. That's some other shit, too. That's right. why I, when people be like, bad luck, I be so in the middle. And ain't that I'm in the middle, these niggas fuck with me. Right. What would you do? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Snoop and Cube, like, Cube shouted me out on the record. Like, what, what would, why would I be like on that? I, he ain't talking to me. The other thing I want to say is, if you have got there, you feel like you on a trip and you talking and you like, man, fuck you, whatever, whatever. If you on that, then you on that. I don't have no feelings towards that either. Right, right. That's, that's what you own. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I just know where I'm on. I'm on being dope. I'm on being dope. I'm trying to be as dope as I can be, and I'm going to be respected by the youngins as well as the G's and be a staple of hip hop and West Coast hip hop forever. Yeah. Like so, I don't, I don't have no bad blood with nobody. Literally, you have no bad blood with nobody. Now I'm gonna keep it funky with you, man. Age did some shit. Like, like I proved it, mm-hmm. but that's after age put it. He already had put it together. Like he, he called me, yo. Like a real, real shit. He call, he hit me on my space. Like, yo, I want to do a mixtape on you. I'm like, all right, uh, <laughs> that's cool. I, 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 Cause I mean, I met him from West Coast Rider. He was showing me major love. Right, right, right. And he hit me two days, two days later. Like, yo, it's done. 
Wow. Like, he had all material. He had excerpts from interviews and shit. And I'm like, dude, I was that's so dope that you even did all that. Right. Church, put it out. Right, right. So it was official, yeah, because I approved it. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like I went to him like, yo, let's do a mixtape. But he did all the hard work and did that on his own. He came G. out with the name and all that, too? The whole shit. Well, I'm, wow. I'm the Ross Ryan. Right, right, but right. Yeah, the mixtape, yeah, he just, the Ross Ryan, wow, it, was, it, 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 it fit. You know what I mean? Damn. So he did it on his own, G, and then and I was like, man, church, man, put that shit out. The name of my next mixtape is Almost Home. Okay. Um, um, the DJ is a surprise, but it's a very big, it's a very big deal. Okay. Um, who I'm gonna go with? But I'm, I'm like, I'm like, like I said, I'm like 80, 85 percent done. Mostly all the songs is done. Mm-hmm. Um, everything else is just putting a little bit of pieces here. I got a couple of surprises I'm still trying to get together. Okay. But um, Almost Home is a mix. That's why I've been leaking joints. I'm trying right, to leak the right, joint like once a week. I'm going to start shooting a lot of visuals. I'm getting out of my lazy writing mode. Right. And now I'm more trying to put myself out there. But I hate doing that because I don't like nothing. Uh, I hate to sound cliche like, you know, nigga, but I hate Hollywood shit. Right. But I do. And we all do. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I already but know. I don't really like being out. I don't like going to a lot of clubs and shit. Out, but it's, it's part of my job. So I know yeah. I got to do it. You feel me? I worked at a, I worked at a, 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 a law firm. It was an outsourcing company. Uh, called Bound. We did fax, copy, and mail for a law firm. Really? And I worked in the fax department. How long were you there for? I had that job probably uh, four years. Damn. Four years. And let me tell you some real shit, though. The reason why I did this rap shit, um, my mom told me to quit. Like, I, I was living with my mom, and, and and what happened was my manager at the time, he was a youngin', he was a young dude, he found this two-way he was the coldest hustler. He found this pager, this two-way. Remember the time portion shit? Yeah. yeah. He found it at a club. It had everybody's number in it. So it was like some exec's phone. And he just started hitting niggas up because he believed in me on some rap shit. I wasn't even he in the office. He started hitting niggas and saying what? Like, yo, nigga, oh, we got a meeting. Uh, we still got that meeting today, Tuesday at, or Tuesday at 1130? He was like, yo, who are you? Like, yo, we set up a meeting. How you think I got your number? Well, me and my artist, Bad Luck, we come in, whatever that. And I was hitting up. I was going to wow. all my meetings. Damn, are you serious? Doing that with my guy, so with my nigga. cold nigga, nigga right there. And I was missing so much work, G. They was like, go fire me. Yeah. And, I, you know, I'm telling my moms, I'm living with my moms. Like, so I'm on some, at this time, you know, moms is on some nigga. You out of high school, like, Get I'm your not going to never not just rap. And yeah, my mom's just like, yo, fuck that job. She yeah. told me, literally, That's she told me, yo, quit that job and rap. Word. And I was like, are you serious? And she like, I said, what about money? I'm grown. Like, you know, I'm, yeah. and she like, to hell with that. Like she and she really was like, "Yo, you good?" Like I hear the music. Like now on some mother, son, if your mom tell you to quit, she really believes you're good. Yeah, I tell you true. as a mother, that's that you good. Yeah, you're right. She told me to quit my job yeah, right. and rap. Yeah. So and I had a job since. Bro. Bad luck, the monster, killer Cali raps. You out of town niggas get killer Cali tax. California street dreams, California ways, California street scene, California haze. Super duper Damani, California Max, and the super cruiser behind me, California stacks. Dipping down Avalon, California scrap. Western Union of Mob, California's back. Home Radio.